this, Justin, we have a pro microscope, micro photographer stud, stud us in our presence. Um, we are so happy to have Marissa join us when she can. And when she can't, she's taking these amazing photos. And I mean, some of them are just downright shocking. And, and I would love to know what they are. So um, Marissa, I, you sent me 20 pictures. I'm going to flip through these and we're going to ooh and ah and probably ask what the heck we're looking at. <laughs> Is the, the light reflecting off of those, is it, is it just like random light dispersion or are the blues all the same thing and the pinks all the same thing and the yellows all the same thing? Or is it's, it just random? So it, it, it's kind of complicated and probably uh, a meeting or a, a, a hangout all in and of itself, but this is transmitted cross polarized light. So this is a very thin slice of a meteorite that's been polished carefully on both sides it's 30 microns thick so it's a few a few hairs thick and there's a light source underneath and then a polarizer on top and then the slice of the meteorite and then in the optical path there's another polarizer that's at 90 degrees to that polarizer coming up through the bottom the the only thing that we're not able to get <clears throat> because as amazing as this is when you're there and you actually have the microscope bioptics working correctly for your eyes and they're, and they're spaced apart correctly, everything turns into 3D. It's the most amazing thing in the world. The first time I was able to achieve it, I, it's like a breakthrough moment. You're like, oh my God, did you see what just, one of, like, like one of those uh, pictures that you put on the wall and you have to cross your eyes to see a, you know, a guy on a bike or something. <laughs> Yeah, this is um, NWA 4560, and it is an LL 3.2. Woo, so we're talking some primitive stuff. Marissa, I'm guessing this yeah. one, carbonaceous? Yes, this is from my Allende. I see me. Beautiful. Go big or go home. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I, think, but, I think the one to the left, the small one to the left, the half one, that's, that's got fantastic myrmachitic texture. Doesn't it? Yeah. That's beautiful. And tell and, me it and, doesn't look like human brains. <laughs> the, the rays that, that Marissa has captured through this radial pyroxene chondrule are, it, that, that's not something I've seen in other uh, thin section photos. That mm -hmm. That's a, that, that's, I, I want to know how that's done. <laughs> yeah. this, <clears throat> now, here is one that that might uh, talk about what we were talking earlier. Remember, Art showed his slice of uh, of Chris Monk's piece, and it appeared they appeared to have rings around them, but they weren't um, iron or or nickel iron rings, meaning they weren't armored chondral. Um, what is it called when you have a a a ring around a chondral like this? <laughs> any uh any name for this one that's probably a barred olivine chondral and because there appear to be at least two different directions i think it's fair to call it a polysomatic barred Polysomatic. olivine chondral i think it's probably also fractured as well mm -hmm. uh, yeah and and i think it's also quite possible that we're seeing uh, you know it's, it's it's a polysomatic barred olivine chondral but mm -hmm. i but I think we're seeing unusual orientation too. The stuff to the lower left may well be those plates face on. Instead of seeing the edge of a plate, we're seeing the face of a plate. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But yeah. that one is so beautiful because the 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 plates that Topher is pointing out there in the in that one major direction, some are thin, some are thick, some are blobby, mm -hmm. some are straight. Yep. That one is just like an so beautiful. That one is so beautiful, Marissa. Yeah. And look at all the metal in there. Yeah, this is NWA 869. Uh -huh. And this is just in plain polarized light. It's not crossed. Wow. 
that's why we can see the metal. <laughs> and and it's and and it's a, a a really cool combination of some room light, some reflected light, as well as the transmitted light. So yeah, the metal shows up instead of just inky black, it shows up gray. Mm -hmm. Marissa, what is this one? This is um, still the NWA forty five sixty. Okay. And Good. It, it's in plain polarized light, and I turned on the um, the overhead filter. I turned on the light for reflective light, so you see a little bit of cross polarization too. So it's a little bit of mix of both. Mm -hmm. Marissa, whatever you're doing, however you're doing it, write it down for the, the actual like distances and lighting and filter situations, because if you go to improve what you're doing, it's going to change what you're doing. But what you're doing right now is showing off stuff that other photographers would bring out something different. Yours is bringing out something I have never seen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm, I'm learning as I go. So I'm just, I'm looking at these, I'm reading about them. I come back, I see new stuff that I couldn't recognize. And now I, I read a book and I figure out, oh, that's what this feature is. So then I go back with new fresh eyes and I always find something new. So I'm learning as I go, but loving taking pictures. I mean, it works like it's radiating to me in two different directions. Yeah, you, yeah, you have it coming it's down. Been a, it's, been a, it's been a big, big chondral, I think. You can see the diameter from the outer, outer, outer right. loop circle. Right. But then, it, then it's, it's got some sort of reaction rim, the brown color around about it after it's been cracked, after it's been broken. Mm -hmm. Look at the mm -hmm. true size of that. You're right. I didn't even notice that I, it doesn't end here. It goes all the way down. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, NWA forty-five sixty. Since the topic of the hangout tonight was all about chondrules, I figured this would be the best one to show. Mm -hmm. right. What is that like? Question mark melt thing? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, me and Pat kind of think that it it could be a calcium aluminum inclusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Donald, what 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 do you think? Well, my my immediate thought is CAI, but but I'm not a hundred percent convinced. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man, this is great. Wow. Well, Marissa, I am so happy that you were able to join us and give us this live uh, peek through your eyepiece because I don't spend enough time with my microscope and you're kicking me in the butt right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, need to, I need to get in my microscope uh, room. Uh, you got me Jones and hardcore right now. So 